What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Hope you guys are having an amazing day today. We are back yet again bringing you guys some more competitive ranked double battles for Pokemon Scarlet and Pokemon Violet. In today's video, we're going to be showcasing one of my favorite Pokemon of all time. We got ourselves a Breloom team. You guys already know the deal. If you do enjoy the content anytime, make sure you support me as a content creator by leaving a like on today's video. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. But before we get started with today's video, you guys know the deal. We have to give a huge shout out to the team creator, Moxie Boosted. Thank you so much for making this team and making it a rental code for everybody to use. I will be leaving a link down to his channel in the description below. If you guys haven't checked him out already, definitely go check him out. Drop a little sub over there. Tell him he came from jeans, all that good stuff. But uh, yeah, we're using Breloom today. Breloom is one of my favorite Pokemons of all time. I absolutely loved it ever since it came out in Gen 3, and I think it is amazing on the rank ladder, especially for doubles. So this team can actually push you high tier in Master Tier. It has a lot of good meta Pokemon, and it has a lot of good synergy. So if you guys are looking for a strong Breloom or Tinkathong team, this is the team for you guys. We can get started here with today's team preview, starting off in that top left corner with the one and only Rotom Heat. And Rotom Heat is solid. I think all the Rotom forms are pretty solid in uh, doubles, especially the Fire and the Water one. I think they're the best too. This one has Levitate as its ability, Citrus Berry as item, then it has Nasty Pot to set up, will it to burn physical attackers, Overheat, and Thunderbolt for two stab hitting moves. Second Pokemon is going to be Garchomp. Can't go wrong with Garchomp, such a strong Pokemon all around, and it can really be paired up with pretty much anybody or any team. It has Rough Skin as its ability, alongside the Clear Amulet as item, and then it has Protect, Sword Stance to boost its attack stat, Dragon Claw, and EQ for its two stab hitting moves. Third Pokemon is going to be that Breloom. Again, I love this Pokemon. I think it's absolutely amazing, especially with the moveset and the ability that it can learn. It has Technician as its ability, with the Focus Sash as its item, and then it has Bullet Seed, Protect, Spore, and Mach Punch. So solid moveset to pair up with the Technician ability. I feel like this Pokemon hits rather hard. Third Pokemon, or fourth Pokemon, I should say, is going to be that Murkrow over here. Murkrow, again, taking over the meta as a support mod, really good with the Prankster as its ability, and then the Evil Light as its item. It has Tailwind, Haze, Foul Play, Icy Wind, nothing you guys haven't seen before already. Bottom left hand corner is going to be Golden Go. I've been using Golden Go a lot, but I've been using more so Choice Specs Golden Go a lot. And this one right here is going to be Life Orb. So we're not going to be Choice to a move, and we can actually get after it with this Pokemon. As good as Gold as its ability, Life Orb, like we already mentioned. Then we got Protect, Nasty Pot, Shadow Ball, and Make It Rain for its four moves. Final Pokemon is going to be Tinkaton, and this is another Pokemon in Gen 9 that I absolutely fell in love with. I think this Pokemon is all around amazing, and its typing is phenomenal with that Fairy and Steel typing. Two of the strongest typings ever, or in the game at the moment. I just think this Pokemon is awesome all around. It has Mold Breaker as its ability, Assault Vest as its item, and then it has Fake Out for Flinches, Gigaton Hammer, which is a crazy strong stab hitting move, Rock Tomb for coverage, and Knock Off for coverage, and to take off opposing Pokemon's items. Guys, if you want to rent the team for yourself, run the code is at the top right hand corner, but let's get after it. Let's hop on that ranked double ladder, look to get some wins with this Breloom and Tinkaton team. First match coming at you guys, we're going up against a tough squad, though. Donzo and Flamigo combo. Definitely got to watch out for that, alongside with Murkrow, Golden Go, and what's that Pokemon? Garchomp. Okay, uh, Murkrow is obviously going to have to be a Pokemon that we bring, but probably a more so of a back end Pokemon. Because it can get real, real scary. It can definitely get real scary. So I'm going to go Breloom as the lead. I can support any Pokemon I want. I kind of get after the battle that way. I could also go in with Tinkaton, which Tinkaton would not be bad at all. Because, you know, it's Tinkaton. And it can fake out and kind of do things like that. So I'm going to go Tinkaton. I'm going to go Breloom. And then Garchomp. I do like the Chomp. The Chomp's not too bad, especially because it's super effective up against the Golden Go. And onto that Garchomp as well. And final Pokemon, we have to have Murkrow, right? It's an absolute must that we have Murkrow. Yeah. Murkrow, we need him for the Haze. We need him for the Haze, but he could definitely lead the combo, I guess, and then bring in Flamigo. But I don't really see him leading the combo, because then I could just fake out. I can spore it on that turn. Or just bring out Murkrow and kind of roll out from there. So I don't see him leading the Dodonzo combo. We really do not. Let's see. So, okay, so Geary and this thing's going to come out here. Um, hmm. Could fake out the Murkrow, could put it to sleep, which would not be bad. Uh, I mean, putting the the what's called the sleep would do nothing, so the Tatsugiri to sleep would do nothing. So I think I just throw you to sleep and also fake out. We think he's going to swap? I mean, I don't think he swaps, because if he swaps, then we just put that uh, Pokemon to sleep. So we fake out the Murkrow. We're going to slump it, which is going to be good. And I wonder what the Tatsu's going for. Tatsu could be dropping a lot. Usually rocks just Draco Meteor and starts hitting you hard. Which obviously will go after Breloom. He's going to taunt me. A little too late for that, buddy. A little too late for that one. So he taunts me. I'm kind of cool with that. Um, I have a fairy move now. I could just go straight out, actually. Hmm. Do I double down in that Pokemon? I feel like I have the bullet seed here. 
feel like I have to bullet seed this Pokemon just in case it swaps. And at the same time, I kind of want to go for Gigaton Hammer, but I'd rather just go for a knockoff here, chip up some damage. Hmm. But if he swaps, I, I missed the move. That's my problem. Let's see what he does. Let's go for a knockoff. We're going to take off that item and chip up a little bit of damage. Get rid of the Sash. Get rid of the Sash. Muddy Water's going to fly here. I don't mind that too much. But I should just go after that thing next turn. If he's not going to swap it, I should just take it out. I should just take it out, but I keep thinking he's going to swap it. That's the problem. I keep thinking he's going to swap. Hmm. Hmm. I'm just going to bolt see this thing and kill it. It's going to be my plan. I might. I want to double down into it, but I can't. I cannot double down into that. Please don't swap. Please don't swap. Cool. It does not swap. We go for Rock Tomb. Rock Tomb gets dodged. What's going to go to from here? Another Muddy Water. I'm fine with that. I'm fine with that. This Breloom should be able to outspeed this Murkrow and take out this thing. Yes, we need you to hit three times. Three times or maybe two. Two works perfectly. So we get rid of the, the, the Dinosaur combo. I'm surprised he left that Pokemon in this long. I think he wanted us to just kill the Murkrow and kind of go from there, but we did not allow that to happen. We said, no, sir. That's not allowed. Murkrow's going to wake up. Probably KO my Breloom. We're going for my Tinkathon. That's totally fine. So obviously Tailwind's going to get set up. I think we have to put a Pokemon to sleep here. It depends who he brings out. But I'm super surprised he just left that Tasugiri uh, just sitting there. Just sitting there. Just sitting there. I just picked the KO. We can get rid of that combo all day. The, the Dodson does come out here. Cool with that. I'm definitely cool with that. You have no combo going. I could put the sleep, which I kind of really want to do. I can't support Tron. So Bullet Seed's going to come out here. I'm all about the Bullet Seeds. I'm all about the Rock Tombs. Their Pokemon are rather slow unless he Tailwind's up, which I think might happen. Or he's just going to Trasalize. Into a Dragon? I've seen a few that have the Dragon as recently. Is it Dragon? What, what terror type are you? It's going to be Ground. I'm cool with Ground. So he just wants to pop EQs. So EQs he wants to pop. My problem would be if Breloom can eat this shot up. It's obviously Tailwind, right? Yeah. But Tailwind flies. So Donzo's basically plus two here. Probably going to outspeed us. And we're going to go from there. Actually, Tinkatong goes first. But I keep missing my Rock Tombs. What is going on here? I keep missing my Rock Tombs. Breloom's doing some nice damage. Give me, give me a couple more. Give me two more. Give me one more. Give me one more. Give me one more to finish this thing off. Come on, Breloom. Oh, Breloom. Oh, Breloom OP. Breloom is OP. It's so good with Technician. It's so good. I've seen a lot of people using the Loaded Dice, so Bolt Seed basically hits like five times every time. But this works just fine. This works just fine with the Sash. But Tinkaton, can you land a Rock Tomb? I do not know what you're doing. Can you land one, please? Missing two Rock Tombs. I get the bird small, but just you got that hammer, too. Start swinging that thing. I don't know what to do. Take it out. Flamigo's going to come out here. This one's, this is pretty much GG. Pretty much GG's, right? I can't spore, which sucks. Uh, I could go for a Mach Punch, which I am going to do. I'm going to start going after this Murkrow. You know what? Screw it. We're dropping a big old Gigaton Hammer right onto this Flamingo. Two birds are out here. Mach Punch going to fly. Nice damage from him. Brave Bird's going to fly. I'm cool with the Brave Bird. Take out my Breloom. Breloom, thanks for coming out. Thanks for doing some work. Taking out those Donzo, Tasugiri, and putting the Murkrow to sleep. I'm telling you guys, Breloom is where it's at. Such a good Pokemon. He's going to drop a Foul Play into me. I eat that up all day. And now we're going to big time hammer up onto this Pokemon. Get it. Get it. Get it. <laughs> Big time hammer. I love it. Thinking leftovers? A leftovers flamingo. Pretty cool, but yeah, we kind of have this match in the bag. I can bring out Murkrow here if I want to, but I really don't want to. Hmm. I mean, I could. Should I? I think I should. You know what? We're just going to tailwind. We're going to take our own speed. I'm going to land this rock, rock tomb onto this Murkrow. Or do I just land a rock tomb onto the Flamigo? Nah, we're taking out this Murkrow. I want this Murkrow dead. <laughs> Obviously, taking out the Flamingo would be better for us, but I have a little grudge against this uh, Murkrow right now, considering I missed it the past few times. So I'm very, uh, I'm pushing towards landing this Rock Tomb. I really want it. <laughs> Let's see, Rock Tomb lands. We did it. Cool. Finally, Tinkaton rips in that Murkrow that should have been dead 10 years ago. And again, this battle has been over for a little bit now. Ever since we take it out that task degree, I felt like we were chilling fine. He goes for the punchies on us. Totally fine. Your defense is down. Take it down out. Speeds. It's over with, man. I'm going to hit you with another hammer. Right to the dome. Right to that small little beak of yours. 
Let me add him. But uh, I see we can come out here. It'll be super effective. And then Gigaton Hammer. Straight to the mitt. Straight to the mitt. Straight to the mitt. Finish him off, Tinkaton. Imagine getting hit by that hammer. <laughs> He's just dead instantly. <laughs> <laughs> well, there it is, ladies and gentlemen. One and oh, to get this video started. Got to showcase Tinkaton. Got to showcase Abrelium. We can hop into our second battle. Look to go back to back. Second match coming at you guys. Going up against another Dodonzo team and another Sand Rush T-Tar team. I've been seeing this team a lot on the ladder. And I actually showcased it on my channel. So I feel like some people who are watching are using this team. So it's pretty cool to actually see actually getting some growth. But um, yeah, Dodonzo reversing that again. So Murko is an absolute must. I do like Breloom yet again, considering it's four times super effective onto that. T-Tar with a Mach Punch will be super effective onto the Lycanroc. So Breloom's a solid lead. It's just a great lead all around. So I might just go in with the same lead. Again, I really like that lead. Steel's going to be super effective onto the Rock. I just think it's a solid lead. I really do like that lead all around. Only Pokemon I'm really worried about is going to be that Annihilate. And since that Annihilate is here... I kind of want to bring Golden Go instead of Tinkathon. Just so I can dodge final gambits, fighting moves, all that good stuff. Obviously, Murkrow has to come in the back end for that Haze. And then final Pokemon, Garchomp's not bad, but Rotom's not too bad either. I feel like Garchomp might be a little bit better all around. Let's go Garchomp. Let's get the Chomp. Chomp's just too good not to bring, you know? Solid with the Dragon Call. His stats all around are phenomenal. His speed solid. You just can't go wrong with Garchomp. So whenever I'm like looking at a team, like I need one more Pokemon, I usually go to my go-to Garchomp if he's on my team. It's kind of like all the pseudo legendaries. I feel like Hydreigon's the same way. Like you can't go wrong with it. But T-Tar like Rock's gonna come out here. I do not mind that. I do not mind that. I'm gonna bring out the squad, the boys, getting after it. Um, huh? What do I do here? Do I bolt team? I'm thinking of just bolt seeding you because T-Tar can tear it into flying, which could be scary. And if it does, I mean, that's totally fine. Bolt Seed will KO you. Unless he doubles down on me. I, I kind of want to plot. Kinda I kind of want to plot. I mean, he does have a dark move. Actually, is he rocking a dark move? I think he has knockoff, which could be bad for us. Uh, what does Jeans one do here? He might just protect you this turn. I'm just going to protect Gold to go. Yeah, there's a Terrasalize. I think it's going to be the T-Tar in the Flying type, right? Again, I know a little bit about the scene. T-Tar does go in the Flying type, so we're not... Good thing we're not going into that punchy rock move. He could double down into me. I think Breloom outspeeds the T-Tar, which could be really good for us. We know Lycanroc is going to go first. Probably drop a Rock Slide. Correct? Maybe? Not sure. I know it's Sash as well, but... Yeah, there's the Rock Slide. Can you dodge Breloom? Be a, be a good Breloom and dodge that? You do not. Um... Can you outspeed the T-Tar? That would be beautiful, too. Awesome. So we can get rid of Lycanroc, no problem. Lycanroc, gone. Get it on out of here. And if I had to guess, probably double down on my Breloom, right? Probably shouldn't have protected. I could have Nasty Plot at that turn, which could have been a really good turn for us. Let's go for that Dark Move. Let's see what he does. Go for Dark Move into Golden Go. No, Terror Blast. Yeah, Breloom's gone. And I was going to Nasty Plot. I was going to Nasty Plot, which would have been phenomenal. But it's all good. I don't mind that turn. We'll take out Lycanroc. We'll take out Breloom. I don't mind that turn one bit. And we get to see his next Pokemon. It could be the Geary, the Tasu. Could be the Tasu. I really want to bring out Murkrow. I really do want to bring out Murkrow, but I feel like Garchomp's going to be your play. Hmm. So I could set up a Sword Dance or even a Nasty Pot at this point. I'm going to bring out Garchomp. Annihilate comes out here. Really scary. Um. Hmm. Protect Chomp, go into a... I think Protect Chomp and go in, going into a Shadow Ball might be our play here. And the reason I say that is because I just don't want the Final Gambit and take out my Garchomp. And obviously, I can't Final Gambit and take out my Golden Go because we are Ghost-type. So, Protecting seems like the right play here. We'll see what our opponent wants to do. We're going to hope that the Final Gambit comes into here. Because even if we don't KO with the Shadow Ball, which I think we should be able to, it's going to be big stab damage with Life Orb and super effective. But even if we don't KO, we're going to neglect a lot of the Final Gambit damage on the next turn. So I'm cool with that. Look at that. Look at that read. There you guys go. Your dosage of genes reads for today. Nice little read from us. Shadow Ball is going to poke through here. Again, should be able to KO, I'm thinking. Gold Go hits like a truck. Not enough, but, 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 there is Sandstorm out and about. Assurance is going to come through here, and that's what I thought was going to come through next, uh, last turn. All right, I don't mind. I do not mind. Sandstorm, going to take him out, please, and thank you. Please and thank you. Let's go. 
Let's go. Okay, so that's solid. Really close battle here. We still have Terrestrialization on our hands. Um, I have Murkrow, so Murkrow can help me out with speed. Uh, could use Icy Wind. Uh, really depends who he brings out. Let's see, Rotom's gonna come out here. Which Rotom is that? This is gonna be Heat. Uh, hmm. I really don't want Thrasslash here. I think Swords Dance gonna be our play. Is he really gonna hit me with a Fire move? I could Tailwind here as well. But I think Garchomp already outspeeds. I just don't think that's gonna be play. I think Icy Wind might be a bit better of a play for us. Just to chip up some damage. Because obviously the Rotom can't hit me with electric moves. This one's gonna be real close. Bad close. Like, I think we're gonna lose this one. Because attacking right now won't really benefit us because he's still gonna be able to get off the attack moves. So I feel like buffing up and hoping that he goes after Murkrow is gonna be the play. Because see, Garchomp already outspeed, so going for a Tailwind would have just wasted our turns. Good thing I did go into that Icy Wind. The Thunderbolt does fly. Can you soak this up, please? You do not, but that's not bad. That's not bad. We have speed on him. He's probably going for a Terror Blast, right? Or Insurance. What are you rocking with? Ice Pump. Should have known this thing had Ice Punch. I don't remember it having it, though. But still, yo, solid battle from our opponent. We tried getting in there, but that T-Tar was just too overpowering. One and one for today's video. You guys know we're going to grab ourselves a winning record in that third and final battle. Third and final match coming at you guys. Going up against another team that I showcased on my channel. We're going up against the Armor Rouge and Flamigo team. You can actually pop Trick Room and then Weak Armor, right? Yeah, you can Weak Armor with the Mouse Hold, with Beat Up, kind of get those stats proc and all that good stuff. Get the Speed Up, get the Attack Up, then bring in Flamigo. I think going into a Pokemon like Murkrow, as a lead, it's going to be solid. We can always just kind of do that. I feel like Breloom could be solid as well. Uh, ch 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 or I can Fake Out Turn 1. I could fake out set up a tailwind. I do not mind that. But the problem is that's going to be a fire Pokemon. A lovely little fire Pokemon. Or we can allow the beat up to go through and then chase it. I think I'm cool with this turn. With this lead. I don't think it's a bad lead. Or I can go into more so like Breloom Mock Punch turn one? Spore turn one? Hmm. A lot of different options. But Haze is going to... Like, we're going to need Haze. If he's going to go into this combo. I don't know. Breloom or Tinkathon? He brings in Indeedy. I think Breloom's going to be a way better call. Or I could go in the straight chomp. Straight chomp. I'm going to go straight chomp. Bring Breloom in the back end. And then last but not least. Huh. Tinkathon? I like Tinkathon. We're going to go Tinkathon. Actually, we haven't showcased the boy Rotom yet. Let's get Rotom out here. <laughs> Even though I think Tinkathon will be a little bit better. Just a tad bit better. Just a tad bit better. We have to bring out Rotom. I haven't showcased him yet. We're looking to have fun on today's video. But more importantly, we want to grab ourselves a winning record. So let's get it. Let's get after it. But a lot of different options they can lead. A lot of different options. Let's see if he goes into Mouse Hold. Armor Rouge and Palafin. Okay. Murkrow and Chomp. Uh, I think a free Tailwind into a potential Sword. Well, I'm kind of digging Sword Stance here. <laughs> I am kind of digging Sword Dance, but I'm also digging a big fat EQ. I think we're going to Sword Dance here because I can see a Protect or a Hard Swap coming from the Palafin. Yeah, there's a there's a Protect from Armor Rouge, but the Palafin might also Hard Swap. That's not a season. It's just going to go for a straight flip turn. I don't mind that. We have Tailwind set up. We can go into Sword Dances. I like that. I dig it. I'm all about it. I'm all about it. I'm all about it. Palafin's going to go for a flip turn into Murkrow. Shh. Fine. Fine by me. Fine by me. As long as we have... Oh, I don't know. I might have to save my Terror type for my Rotom. I think it's a, a Thunder Terror type, an Electric Terror type, which would be better than Fire. Because if Palfin comes back out here, I don't want to, to, to just Jet Punch me and KO me. I'm going to need something. He's going to end up bringing out Mer or not Murkrow, in DD. Totally fine. This is free EQ City for me. Free EQ City that I can drop. Unless he swaps into the Flamigo, but still, I gotta pop the EQs. I'm Sword Sands plus two. I think we can thrive out strong. So, DD's gonna get that boost. Um, hmm. What did I wanna check out? I want to check out the Terror type on the Rotom. It is going to be electric, so that's gonna be good. We might have to save that for later. We still have Breloom with the Sash for that uh, Palafin. Okay, so from here, I'm just gonna drop a Foul Play, and I'm just gonna pop an EQ. Save, seems like the safe, simple play. Helping hand coming out here. I think that thing dies before it even gets off a shot. Let's go for first turn priority moves. We have Tailwind. Yeah, Tailwind's up. Makes Garchomp fast this round. 
Let me drop a big fat plus two EQ that stab. Is that KO? Show me KOs. Oh my god. Oh my lord. Get them on out of here. Garchomp looking to sweep this battle. I'm looking to sweep. I'm feeling good. He can't go for jet punches either. I forgot there's a uh, psychic trade out. So he pretty much just put himself in a bad position. You put yourself in a bad position. Gene's coming crazy. I don't think I took damage yet. Actually, I did. Murko took the flip turn. Kind of hurt his soul. But Salmon's going to come out here. Going to intimidate me. Not too bad. I could see a terror type coming out from him. And Palafin's going to poke out here as well. Big boy Palafin. Yo, Salmon looks tough. I, this is one of my first times like, kind of looking at it. Like, from the other side. He's got like a little diagonal angle going on to him. It's looking tough. It's looking real tough. Um, what are I going to here, though? Foul play. Obviously, I must just protect this turn. Can't jet punch me. We have speed. I could Terra. I am going to Terra. And the reason I'm going to Terra this Pokemon is because we have Breloom in the back end. So I'm not worried about the Palafin too much. I'm plus one now due to Intimidate. Foul play should be able to chunk up a nice amount of damage on the Palafin. Garchomp seems fine. Especially if he Thrasilize. Because I think he's going to Thrasilize his Helmets. And then try to try to use a dragon move onto me. Seems like the smart, simple play. Well, this is me terrestrializing. We're gonna get the guard chop out and about, get him flowing, going to straight ground typing, and we're gonna watch on be a big time double KO and great call from us <clears throat> to actually pop the uh, the sword dance turn one and read the protect. The terrestrialize also coming out from them. And again, I I'm pretty sure it's gonna be Salamis. Yep, it's going to be Salamence, and he's going to change into Steel. Wow, I could have just EQ'd. I could have just EQ'd. <laughs> he's just dumped on that thing. Straight Steel type. Jet Punch going to fly. Oh my god. What are you doing? You set the own terrain. You set the own terrain for yourself. Claw's going to fly here. Still do half health with a not very effective shot. Foul Play's going to chip up some damage here. Not just chip. Absolutely chunk up some damage here. We knew the Dragon Claw is coming through here. This is exactly why we went into that turn. And it's over with. It's GG's. GG's, I pop an EQ, we get the sweep. We get the sweep for battle number three. It is lovely, it is perfect. You can't jet punch me, you can't do none of that. You just cancel battle. There it is, 2-1 for today's video, another winning record. There it is, ladies and gentlemen, 2-1 winning record for today's video. Like I said in the beginning, this is a fun team with a lot of cool Pokemon, especially for me at least. You got the Breloom and the Tinkaton, but at the same time, it is very, very strong and usable in the Master Tier. These matches were all in the master and we absolutely dominate in today's video going two and one and picking up a clean sweep in the third and final battle but guys that is gonna be for today's video if you did enjoy the content don't forget to smash that like button for me and if you're new here click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live seriously you guys rock out make sure you spread some positivity day and i'll catch you on the next one peace out everybody